Hey everyone, what are we doing with these two items tonight? We're gonna do a little chit chat. Come on and see what we're gonna talk about. So tonight I wanted to talk to you about frugal wardrobe, refreshing your wardrobe. How many of us love clothes? I do. I do. I like accessories and I like clothing. One of the things I have found in getting older is, you know, your, your tastes change and um, you also need to change your taste. I remembered my mother when I was younger saying, you know, these older women are always trying to look young. That's not to say you can't wear youthful looking outfits, but there are outfits that to me, some women older should not be wearing. It just, to me, it looks silly. And I always think a good classic look is a good way to go. Now I'm on the more modest side of things. So I like a higher neckline. I like things, you know, not too exposed and all of that. But, you know, that's personal taste, personal choice, but that's just me. So I look for things on the more modest side. But as I've gotten older, you know, my tastes have changed. My color palette that I like has changed. My shape and size has changed. Oh, yeah. Things spread. They move. Uh, you get a few extra rolls here and there. And, you know, we all have good intentions of, I'm going to tone up, I'm gonna lose weight. Now, if you're looking to refresh your wardrobe, we've been talking about refreshing and doing things just to refresh our life, everything from food to the gas in the car, changing our attitude, refreshing our home decor, our stockpiles and everything else. Well, why not do your wardrobe? Why not do something for you? Why not refresh what you have and make it better? Now, you could be in a couple different places in life. I work full time outside the home and I also do a home business. So if I was home, I could sit here with Laureen. Yes, my pink fuzzy slippers, I still wear them. I could sing, sit here with my pink fuzzy slippers on and a pair of sweatpants and a hoodie. That's not me. Um, in order for me to feel good, full makeup, however I wear my makeup I mean I'm not a makeup artist but makeup goes on hair gets done jewelry goes on even if I have a hoodie on I need to feel like I'm put together in order to function for the day but a classic look I think is a good look to have if you can't spend a lot of money on your um, your wardrobe if you're looking to refresh your wardrobe and you're looking for some new things like, what do I do? I want to just spruce it up. So I, this is, this is my rule of thumb. This is from talking to a few people that I've admired the way they've dressed. And I've been really over the last two years changing my wardrobe up. And I have to say it's lightened the load. I find it less stressful. I'm more organized and I know exactly what I'm looking for. Now, there is a certain brand that I love hands down 150 percent hands down i love denim and company it is a qvc exclusive brand and yes i buy some things at full price because i like them i love them and they last for years and i really i i honestly i love them it is a classic look and the best part is now i'm in new jersey but if i cross over the bridge and i go into pennsylvania and I hit the thrift shops out in Pennsylvania, I can get denim and company for like 350 for a shirt and so on. So I do try and do that. So what do I mean by a classic look? I'm gonna show you a simple look and a different couple of different ways that you can change it up and not spend a lot of money. So first thing you start with is a plain white shirt. Okay, it could be long sleeve, short sleeve. This is not quite three quarter, which is what I prefer because I don't like things all the way down here. I like the three quarter. And again, the older you get, I know a lot of my viewers are probably my age, a little older, a little younger, but we're all in about the same range. So men, if you're watching, you could really still do the same classic look, but I don't have guys clothes to show you. And if you're younger, this look would still work for you. You can just change it up to make it look a little bit more maybe trendy if you wanted, but anyway. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a jacket on, which would be long length, 
and I fold it up because I need the three quarter length look. So you would wanna have a plain white shirt or a cream shirt as a classic for your classic wardrobe and a pair of black pants. So we have our black pants and our white shirt. So as you can see, I have a white shirt on today for work. I've put these beads on and I have a denim jacket and at the very end of the denim jacket, it has a ruffle. Is that not cute? I love it, I love it. I have this jacket. That's the other thing, I buy it in every color I can get it. So I have it in this color. I have it in a, um, like a cocoa brown and then I have it in a burgundy. So the same jacket with the ruffle at the bottom with a white shirt. So you can just get one scarf and this one has multiple colors and I'll show you. Look at this, if I added the scarf, now granted, you're not gonna wear this in the summer, but if I just add a scarf to it, the colors, does that not go perfectly? You can still see the beads. I think that looks great. So that is one classic look right there. Now, you can do the same thing. Let me take this off the hanger here. Get a new one on here for you. So if you were to just add this sweater. Now this sweater I bought at Primark. I don't know if you have a Primark by you. It was $12. That's not bad. It's a long, full length sweater with some nice pockets. Three quarter length sleeve. And then it's got on the bottom here. I love the look of this. The cabling there with the buttons. I just think that's so cool. That's beautiful just by itself. Okay, so what can we do different with this? Well, let me show you a couple different things here. Okay. So, there's a nice great look right there, right? Looks good, just add the beads to it. You can dress it up. So you can go with denim jeans with this. You can go with denim jeans with this, or you can go with the black pants, and you've got a nice classic look. And maybe you want to change that up and do something a little different. So you could just add something along the line of this. That gives it a whole nother look. Or you can go something along the line of this and really change it up in the coloring. Then if you were to add the scarf around it, how great does that look? What Same scarf, right? I think that looks good. Okay, let's try another color here so you get an idea of where I'm going with this. Now we're gonna go with a green jacket. Again, plain, simple, right? It looks good just, just like that. Let me just get my black pants here. I've got a little rack over here that I'm using. There we go, nice look, right? Very nice, very nice. If you don't wanna go with the beads, you can add, look at the scarf with that, right? Get the white shirt in there. Looks terrific, same scarf. Now, if you take this look and you wanna dress it up, again, you can go with jeans or the black pants. That looks great like that. Let's go with this look. Totally different, right? I think it just changes the whole look. And then let's go with this one. And that even looks great. Look at that, right? I think that looks fantastic. And then if you were to add something along the line of this, do you see how these are all starting to come together, right? I think that looks great. So you might say, well, you know, that's a lot of clothes, Lynn, that's inexpensive. This jacket here, $2, three quarter length sleeve, $2. It's very drapey, hides a lot of the things we need to hide. This shirt, as you can see, Denim and Company. They had three shirts on clearance for $18. And I got a black, a white, and a gray. They were the three colors that I would say if you're going to want to change up coloring, I'd go with a gray, black, and white or something in the long of those shades. You can go cream color, lighter gray, darker gray instead of black, but those are the three that I would say I would stick with if you're trying to have a classic, basic, frugal spending. So, you know, one white shirt, I own five white shirts, so every day I could wear a different white shirt, add a different scarf and different beads, and nobody knows the difference with a different jacket. Now, I work in an office, so in the winter it's chilly, and in the summer we've got the air conditioning on. I'm always cold, so I like a jacket year-round. Jacket always hides all the sins of the world because, you know, if you wear certain shirts, they just they show a little too much. 
so you can wear a jacket. You can get a lightweight jacket for the spring and summer, which is what I do. And the, you know, like this is a heavier denim. I can wear this into early spring and then fall and into winter. So I will show you, here's a bracelet that I'm wearing right here. Yeah, it's quite pretty and it goes nicely with, now these not might, might not be your style, but you get, right, that goes great with that. This was 99 cents, right? This one, $1 went to the dollar store. Now these two, I broke the bank. These were on clearance at Walmart for $4.97 each. So I spent $10. I have worn these for two years now. I love the layered look. And I'll tell you, every time I wear them, it's like one of those things people always say, oh, did you get a new necklace? No. You know why? Because I'm wearing it with this this time. And the next time I wear it with this, but then the next time I wear it with this, so you change it up by the coloring of your jacket and maybe add a scarf or different earrings and all of a sudden what you wear looks completely different. So go with a frugal um, mentality of how do I spruce up my wardrobe? Go get some white shirts, some black pants, and then layer it with a scarf, with a jacket, with some beads, depending on what your style is. I think it's a great way to go. If you're looking to change up and you know, like I wanted to downsize my wardrobe. I had so many clothes and so many I didn't wear, but I do like accessories. So I've gone with a plain, I own only black pants, white shirts. I do have other colored shirts, but if you want to just go as frugal as you can and you just, I can't afford to buy much. Black pants, white shirt, and then go with any jackets and accessories that you can do. Hit the dollar store, hit the thrift stores. One dollar, so for two dollars I got this set right here. And they weren't even at the same dollar store, there were two different stores. The thrift stores, you can get some great buys. We're gonna be having the warm weather come, hit the yard sales. I get all my scarves at the thrift store for two bucks. This was out, actually, if anyone is out in the Ephrata area of uh, Pennsylvania, how many people from that area or know it? And we hit the Ephrata Reuse It shop, my favorite, next to Morgantown, Pennsylvania, Reuse It. Two bucks, right here. I twirl it like this, put your hand in, pull one through, twist it, pull the other one through, and voila. There you go, you can pull it out as if you wanted a little bit more, you know, kind of here, you can put it this way, Put it toward the back, put it around your neck. This matched the green one and it matched the cocoa brown one. Look at that, all three, right? One scarf matched all three with the plain white shirt. I could actually get away with these, ba these beads here with these jackets as well. I hope you found that a little informative that you can do this on a budget, you can be frugal. You can do really well if you're looking to either change up your wardrobe or downsize your wardrobe and you're trying to figure out what to keep and what to get rid of. Keep your plain, to me, no prints. The best you can, no prints. Plain, solid colored shirts. I'd go with, if you could, white, gray, and black. If you have no choice, um, then to stay strictly on a really tight budget, go with those colors because they go with every jacket you could want. But if you can only really do like one or two shirts, I just get two white shirts. Everything goes with a white shirt. Everything goes with black pants. You could just get black shoes and you're good to go. Right now I have a gray tote bag and I have a, like a, like a, not an emerald green. What would you say? More of a, kind of a teal green. And I have a wallet that's teal green and I have a gray I have a lug wallet, so if you saw my what's in my purse, what's in my wallet video, you can go back and see that. I have the same one in gray, and I have it in like a teal, I guess you'd say, and I have a tote bag to match each, so whatever I do, they match, they match everything. I can go on the gray side or the teal side, and all my stuff matches. It keeps my life simple. Hope you enjoyed this great video. Give it a thumbs up. I look forward to chatting with you on the next video.